Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to one of two movie reviews for tonight. The first one being The Purge and the second one being VHS 2. So I guess you could say it's a horror themed double feature for tonight. There you go. Boo. Scary. So, the first one is The Purge, which I was really looking forward to because I thought the trailer looked really good. It had a cool premise. I love Ethan Hawke. I don't know. I just thought it looked really cool. So, what did I think of The Purge? Well, let's talk about the story. So the story for The Purge is set in 2022, and in 2022, America's crime rate is at an all-time low. It's like 1% or less than 1%, and the reason why is because on one day, just one day in every year, they allow anything to happen, just one day, and that day is called The Purge. Everything is legal. You can rape, pillage, murder, uh, dance to Gungam style, whatever you want to do. Everything that's illegal in the United States, you can do on that day. And the story here follows uh, Ethan Hawke's character, who is a businessman who actually sells security for people that don't want to go out and purge, just to protect them and their, their family, of course. And he is like, it's like two hours before the, the next purge is about to happen. He's about to go home, you know, settle down with his wife, uh, played by Lena Hetty, and his two kids. He's about to bring down the security doors and, you know, lock it up for that day. You know, 12 hours have to go by, and after that, they're fine. The thing is, about 30 minutes into the purge, a man comes by down the street, this black dude, and says, please help me, someone help me. And of course, one of the kids in Ethan Hawke's house decides, you know what, I'm gonna let him in. And he does, and that was a bad idea because then a bunch of, like a group of just homicidal dudes with masks come in, come in and say, if you don't bring that guy out, we're going to bust in there because we can and we're going to kill all of you. So the story, of course, follows if, if Ethan Hawke's character is going to bring the dude that his son just saved out there. Is he going to fight off the crazy dudes? Who knows? That That's the story. The premise itself is a very hard pill to swallow. I mean, it would never happen, especially not in nine years. The thing is, is that it works perfectly for a horror film like this, a home invasion horror film. It gives you a reason why the main characters can't call police officers or a friend or neighbors or whatever. And I love this. I actually do really love this. They said the psychotic people that are trying to break into the house have a reason to break into the house besides that they're just crazy, like many horror films. The one movie that comes to mind is that movie The Strangers, where for no reason they just break into a house and, and terrorize Liv Tyler. Why? Because. In this film they give you a reason, and I do like that, and it actually you know, builds the tension because you know what they want, but they're so psychotic they'll get a little bit extra if they want. <laughs> yeah, they'll kill everybody, that's what I mean. And I like that, and I actually do like the villains here, especially the main bad dude, uh, I can't remember the actor's name, but he did such a good job. He's just so slimy and so, he's overacting, but he's so sinister. Every time I saw him, I was like, Something bad's gonna happen, and you don't see him too many times, but he is great in this. Um, Ethan Hawke, of course, the main star, I should have talked about him first, but he did a great job. I love Ethan Hawke, and you do actually feel for him, even though you don't really know him too much. And, I will say this, he's actually a badass in this film. There's a part where he just gets a shotgun and says, screw it, and I was like, awesome. Um, Lena Hetty is great as the, the wife, of course, and she, she does a great job, and she actually has a scene at the end of the film that she completely nails, and I thought she did a great job there. Um, the two kids in the film, uh, they did a great job as well, even though I wouldn't say their characters are any, they're not really likable, but um, for the most part, the acting is really good here, but there is some side characters, some side actors that, meh, they don't deliver their lines perfectly well, but the main cast does a damn good job here. Um, and while this movie isn't, t you know, isn't really that scary, I'm going to say it straight up, it's really not that scary, I went into this film expecting it to be a thriller with some violence, and that's pretty much what I got. I got a thriller with some tension, it had some nice tension, uh, with some really cheap jump scares at times, which were just really out of place, I felt, um, and I got some violence, I got some action, it was a pretty good time. I actually enjoyed this film for what it was. Now, is it great? No. The first, I would say, 45, maybe 50 minutes are extremely slow. Even though I do like the two main characters, I really don't like the kids, to be honest. Like, I'll, I'll tell you straight up, I don't like them. And, yeah, they just keep making dumb and dumber and dumb, just dumb, 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 dumb decisions, and I hate that. Um, but, again, I like the two main characters, and there's some cool scenes here and there in the first 45, 50 minutes. But then that last 30 minutes, 
is badass. It's completely tension-filled, badass violence and action. It, you know, it's just great. I think the last 30 minutes works perfectly, and I thought the ending itself, while sometimes a little bit cheesy in some parts, with some of the acting, definitely, I still think works nicely. So overall, while it's not a great film, it has some nice scenes, um, some badass moments, and it's short too. It's only like 80, 85 minutes, so you're not going to be in there for way too long. So overall, I think The Purge, not great, but I enjoyed it. I did. So I'm going to give it a 26 out of a 40. Okay film. Definitely go check it out if you want to have a little bit of fun today or tomorrow, whenever you want to check it out. So there you go. There's my first review for tonight. Thank you and goodbye.